guys welcome back those of you are new my name is Parishka as you can see behind me I just had the most amazing church service ever guys CRC changed my life if you're looking for a church or if you don't have a church I'm gonna link their website down below because in the description because we have churches all over the country all over South Africa so definitely go and check them out so today is all about my rubber plant also known as planty before planty guys i don't know why so many plants died so many plants that i had just died so as a reward for literally just surviving i'm gonna make her a little plant stand today i started off making two structures that look like this my wood was 22 by 40 millimeters and my measurements were as follows the vertical pieces were 540 millimeters the long horizontal piece was 320 and the short pieces were 140 millimeters then i made the exact same structure but that horizontal piece was just switched the other way around so that they could fit together to form the stand I had a saying that said measure twice and cut once when it comes to woodworking and this is definitely the case. Rather take your time, measure properly, make sure everything is right before you cut so you don't have to go in and fix your mistakes. I actually did end up doing this, messed it all up and had to just cut another piece for one of the horizontal pieces. After my pieces were cut, I started off with the horizontal pieces and I just sanded them down really nicely. Then I took the smaller pieces and I attached them to the bigger piece using a drill, making some pilot holes and some screws. So I don't know if it's my Dremel, but when I drilled through both pieces of wood, it started to smoke really badly. So I just drilled through one piece until I could just see a mark on the other side and then I made my pilot holes in the second piece of wood and just screw them together. Then I took some 220 grit sandpaper and just gently sanded those vertical pieces. I took some chalk and marked out where the horizontal piece needs to go. You just need to check how big your plant is to determine this. And then I attached the horizontal piece to the vertical pieces using the same pilot holes and screws. I ended up with a structure that looks like this. Yes, I know there's a huge gap on that left hand side. Don't worry, I did go in and fix it. And then I made another piece and just switched that horizontal piece the other way around. I'm such a messy worker as you can see. I got really into this project, completely forgot that I was filming as well. Okay guys, I decided to test it out to see what it looks like and... It's so big. It's just way too big. But I have a plan. So I'm actually going to turn this entire thing around because it's too tall anyway. I don't like how tall it is. So this top part is going to become the legs and the bottom part is going to be where the pot sits. And then I'm going to get just a slightly bigger pot because I wanted to repot this anyway. It is getting a bit small for this. So I'm going to go see what I can find and um, yeah. It's going to work. This was literally the only part I could find that was the size I needed. But the good news is, look, it fits perfectly. I was really happy about that. So then I took some dark gray spray paint and I spray painted the stand because I really wanted to hide all those screws. And then for the pot, I wanted to create that fork ceramic look again. So I took some paint, uh, mixed it with some baking powder. If you missed my previous video where I did this, I'm just linking it up above. And then I painted that on. I did two coats on the pot. After doing all of that, I decided I actually really didn't like this color, so I painted the whole thing gray. And then I just repotted the plant, put it in the stand, and that was it.
Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.